Hi, I'm Sandra and welcome to Creating Spain. And today I'm just going to do a little video with the Concepts app. Now, quite often I find that there are some free PDF files that normally are expected to print out and then cut with a scalpel. Now, I'm not into cutting with a scalpel, I cut with a cutting machine. But quite often these files are not really suitable for automatic tracing in your cutting software. Because they have score lines, which are usually dashed, if you trace those dashed lines, you will just end up with a load of holes, which isn't really the object of the exercise. So what you really need to do is to be able to trace that with usually straight lines are the most difficult to do. You need to be able to trace that and apply a different colour to the score lines than you do to the cut lines. And in concepts, that is very easy to do. But the other thing that it has is a precision mode, and this is the bit that I wanted to show you. In precision mode, if I draw a line, and I have a very thin line here, then I take my pencil off, and I then draw another line, and take my pencil off again, and then go back up to the start you can see that it's joined those lines up and that makes it a lot easier when you want to make cut lines and not have gaps in your lines. If, for example, I was doing a flower shape, I could get a little symbol up there and it says, do you want to actually join that line to that line? I tapped it, so it joined it. I didn't want to do that, so I can tap undo. So I can then go onto that line and I can join up there. So you have, if I zoom in, and this is done by reverse pinching, get a much better view. You can see that this is going to be a lot easier to do your precision drawing. Now the other thing worth noting is that we have a line smoothing facility, or as I call it, the wobble factor. Now at the moment I've only got that set to 27%, but if I set it up to 100, I'll get nothing but straight lines, no matter what I do. I can draw a curvy, wavy line like that, do, 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 and it's going to be a straight line at the end of it. Now if I do a line from here to here, it's wobbled, but I take my pen off and it straightens up. And now if I draw from that edge, it will join onto the corner of it. So this is really, really handy. Now you might say, oh, I've drawn that and I really don't want it to be that thin. No problem. Select it, go to your line width and make the line thicker or thinner or whatever you want. Change the color of it. Change the smoothness of it. So bring back the wobble. Alter the opacity. Do anything you like to this. Each line that you draw in this is completely editable from start to finish. And so you can do exactly what you want. If you decide you don't want that line, send it to the bin. There we go, it's gone. If you're in the drawing mode and you suddenly think, oh, I didn't want that line there, tap and hold, it selects it, and you can send it to the bin again. Other than that, you can use the selection tool and you can lasso things to get rid of them. You notice that locked items are excluded on the top right corner. Partial strokes are excluded, but you can include partial strokes as well. So you could do that and only part of a stroke is included and you can get rid of that. You can look in all layers or only the active layer and so on and so forth. You've got infinite variety of control there. In this particular mode, you also have some tools that you can use. Say so you have a line tool, an arc tool, an ellipse. And with these, you can adjust the size, shape of them, whatever. You can adjust where they are. And then to draw that line, which is the dotted line between them, you just take your pen and you draw outside of it somewhere along that line and it will put the line in for you. Okay, so I don't want that anymore, I go back. 
you have layers for whatever you want. So if you have an image, you can have a separate image layer. Pretend this is an image layer. You can now lock that layer. Click on the plus button, add a new layer. Work on your new layer. Now maybe I want to do some airbrushing, so I'll put some colour on here. Da, 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 da. Oh, I didn't like that too much. Go to the eraser, draw a line right through it, and it won't touch whatever is on the underneath layers. Now this particular bit is handy if you want to colour something in and you're not good at colouring within the lines with the airbrush. You can then get rid of the bits that you didn't want afterwards. Okay. So that makes that a lot easier. Now, as it happens, I've got this on straight lines and that's why it's playing like that. If I take this back down to naught, it will act as a normal eraser would. There we go. It's doing it where I put it rather than altering it to straight lines. So that's really, really handy when you want to color something in. Now I found uh, a really nice card design, it's for a, a pop-up kitten card and I found it on the internet, it was free for download, a very generous person allowing us to download these things. But it was a grey kitten and I wanted an orange tabby kitten. So I traced the design, I then took away the image and I airbrushed it with the colours that I wanted and I saved the two images separately. So I saved the airbrush image as a JPEG and I saved the other part as an SVG. So I had the cut line and I had the image and all I had to do was line them up. Now a tip for doing that, if you don't want to do a print and cut, you can do it like that, which means you get basically a printer's bleed. But if you do that, you want to make sure that you know precisely what size your page is. And one of the ways of doing that is to take a pen and just check what this is on at the moment. I'll put this line up and I've got it on straight line. And what you do with your pen, you mark the corners. Oops, I had my fist on the, uh, on the thing there. You mark the corners like so only with a thinner line and you mark two diagonal corners and if for example this was A4 when you imported your images into whatever cutting software you can then resize the image as it's imported to make sure that it is A4 size and then if you've got both your pages the same size you'll know that if you use what you see is what you get as a cutting mechanism, your cut lines will be in the correct place for your draw lines if you've done an airbrush design. Um, so that is quite a handy thing to do. But in general, Concept App is not only a really good drawing app for doing original designs, but it's a great app to use for tracing if you need to trace something. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye.